Hello everybody and welcome. Welcome to Emmett B Cube. Now Emmett B Cube as you know it's one blender file on the floor. I'll show you from here in the PG. Now this is already going to be a very short video for a very simple asset. So this is a wooden floor asset, so here it is here, template number one. I will load in the templates so you can actually see exactly how I do it. I do make big long kind of videos explaining each and every part of it. If you go here, delete the texture, go here, delete that. As I've been mean, object mode, if you look at the texture, go here, look at it. All I've done was imported basically here. I added a blend of clean to the floor. What I've done, I came over here, I pressed the line tool and I added some lines on it. That's basically what I've done, so I'll we'll top you like this. I draw a line from there to there, from there to there. So if you look, if you look at the gap between the four, basically I put a line on every single line. That's basically what I've done. And then I added some down this way. I added one here. Then I missed one. Then I added one here. Missed one. Added one over here somewhere. Missed one. Added one over here. Anyway, you get the idea. Over here. In ball. Model number two. Now, of course, we can go over here, we can delete the texture, click back on the model, go back to here, and edit. Now, you see when I said to you, I added lines down here, one here, look, I added one here, I added one here, one here, one over here, and so forth. And if you look at the pattern, look at the shape of the pattern, and remember the shape. Okay, it's a flat surface, nothing special about it. Okay, so, as I said, it's a very easy floor for a very simple world. Come down here, go back to OPG, import flat number two. So we're going to import this one. Now this is where I'm kind of shaping the actual pattern exactly as I want it. If you look at the pattern on the floor, it's exactly the same, more or less as your pattern. Basically, so if you go back on the video, you look at the pattern, and you'll see it's exactly the same. But well, why would I want it? Because if, if you were using MSB cubes, the models for Blender, so I'm going to import the final model, import this one, and now we'll be here and I'll turn this off. And I'll get the standard mode and I'll show you. Now of course, as you can see, all I've done, I've got the floor pieces. So if you look at it, it's a 3D floor, look. It's a proper 3D floor board. So I didn't do underneath, if you look underneath there, look, see here it's not done. Of course, you have to turn it over and I can do the bottom as well. Fill the faces, it's really, really easy. I didn't do it because in the, in the game world, you're going, to be, you're going to be walking across the floor. That's what you're going to be doing. So, as I said, what we want to do, we want to be able to change the color of this. Watch this one, and go here. Now, I use color. Press this one, go here. Okay, I'm going to you pick any color of the rainbow. Hit the eyedropper. I'm going to have blended gray. Black, kind of. Press here. It looks like that. And I think, you okay, if I was walking my game world, Creaky floor boards. I think in the end, yeah, it looks pretty good. So what will look better? Now I know it looks better, I will show you. Leave it in live mode, go here. Instead of adding a colour like this, go here, this is add colour. If you go to add a texture, if you go to image, if you go on the internet and find a free image, so click here, go to download, go to the internet and find yourself a free image, click here. You can load it directly onto the model. Like that. So basically, uh, now it looks totally different. Now, if, if I take it out of the light, I'll show you. If I go in, in this one, this one. Let, let me just change the, the actual template for it. As I said, if you look at the floor now, look, it looks completely, utterly different. As I said, it looks better. Like that. Of course, if I get rid of the actual texture, I'll go back to Blender Green. This how it looks. As I said, there's a big difference between that. This one here. As I said, you could do it however you want. As I said, if you want to use a texture, you can use a texture. That's how you put the texture on it. You just go here and find the texture you want and then just basically stick it on it. But um, I'm not using a texture, I'm using Blender, right? So as, as I said, if you want the model, you can have it. Now when I share it, I am going to fix the one underneath here for you. So the bottom will look like that. So when you turn it over, it will look the same. And of course, it's up to you how you want to UV map it. Whether you want to map the whole thing in one go. So you've got one texture. Or you can split them, separate them. And you can 
and you paint in a UV map, each one separately. Now all the boards, just like you noticed, they all fit inside a blender square. Perfect. They're all dip kind of different scales of forward. And I'll do that for a reason, because later on, when I do model two of it, or model three, I'm going to twist and bend and shape the rumble. I'm going to have like little cracks in it and pieces of wood missing and jagged and things like that. So that's for later on, but for now, because it's a brand new asset, it's a brand new asset and it's got no scratches on it. So I think it's perfect. So anyway, if you want the Emma floorboard, if you want it, this is what it is. It's not one floorboard, it's a couple of floorboards basically inside one blender square. If you click on it, you can basically just snap it inside Emma's world, inside Emma's assets. And as I said, all Emma's assets basically snap together, that's what they do. So of course, you can have the flat template where it's flat on the floor, so the, so the floor is flat. So you can still put your texture on it if you want to, and it'll still look like that, but it's going to be flat. Or of course, you can actually put the colour on it, or put the texture on it. And you can actually physically have a 3D floor. Now, if you're going to keep it 3D, if you are, this is what I'm going to recommend you do. Click on it, go to here, go edit. You see that gap? You see all that in the middle of there? Now, I, I haven't deleted it. I'm going to leave it there for you. Go in the, you have to go in the gaps in here. You see them same things there? Press faces. Go inside here. Go on this one. This. Press that one. Go in here. Select all of the faces, so go around it, select all the gaps, and delete everything in the gaps. Okay. So basically go top view, go all around it and delete them all. So well, why would we do that? What you would do that for is let's say this is the ceiling inside the building, and let's say there's a room under here, the light can shine through the cracks. Now of course, if you don't want the light to shine through the cracks, then of course you can do this. My game world is all about, it's all about shadows and things like that. So we can, now if you if you enter this room and you notice that the floorboards got creaking sound going on, you can hear a noise going on under the floorboard. Could be a big hairy scary monster, but who knows? Go to the top view. If you look at the pattern in the floor, you see here look where it kind of goes like this, kind of a bit up, a bit kind of jagged, almost similar, but it's kind of a little bit jagged. Now. It's made like that for a reason, because later on, this floor here, all of this floor, all of that basically falls down to the bottom. So you grab all that and you drag it, drop it down to the bottom, basically. In my game world, and then of course, whatever's down there, yeah, it has the ability to basically climb on top of all the wood and climb out of the hole. So the moral of the story about this room you don't enter this room because if you enter this building there might be some goodies in here that you want but once you enter the building the floor will collapse and you might be able to get what you want but probably not because it's on the other side of here and there's something big scary hairy down down inside the big hole so of course you might not be able to get it unless of course you can get a piece of wood come back in Put it across here and then quickly quickly go over and grab it before that comes out the hole. Yeah, probably, probably not. So as I said, really whatever's in the room, just leave it. Unless you're really, really fast. Then you can come in here. If you know that, if you know that this is the room and where the floor's gonna crack, you're not gonna know that because I'm not gonna tell you where I'm gonna put it. So when you enter some building and you suddenly walk on the floor, yeah, the floor's gonna just basically drop in front of you and if you've got the floorboard already with you, that's great. You can put it on the floor, run over, grab it, and run back out of the building before the thing in the floor comes out. So, yeah. That's about the only way you're going to get the item that's over there. So, anyway, I really hope you like the assets, and I really hope you like the little short videos. So, yeah, as I said, the video logs are longer because I'm showing you each and every part of it, how I created it. I'm thinking because it's only a floor anyway, as I said, Talk to you how you want to go about making it. As I said, all my geometry is made into the actual geometry. So, as I said, if you want to load a texture, go here. Let's say do that. Let's say you let's say you bring it in. So you go on the internet, have a look at it. If you want to come 
Good news now, go here, import, import the glyph file. It'll come in like this, go over here. You won't need to do this because I'll, I'll already do it for you. Go here, object mode. Delete, just delete the texture thing. Make a new texture, put it on, put a shield on it. The colour of the rainbow if you want one. If you don't, leave it like that. And then of course, all you do is press here. Image, go here, go to the internet. Find some free, find some free floor images, stick it on your floor, and everything is working absolutely fantastically great. So as I said, thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe, don't subscribe. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like the video. I very much appreciate you if you, if you do. Anyway, stay safe, keep it friendly, keep reading text. See you soon. Bye.